multiply this, uh, but we're not actually going to multiply it out. Because it's multiple choice and it's a simplifying problem, you can actually uh, use the store function to plug a number in for x, and you'll see it's going to give us our answer. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to plug a number in for x up here. So we'll start with 2 store for x. I, I almost always use 2, but it's possible to use 1 or you know 3 or something. I just I found that 1 will give us a it won't it won't give us the right answer every time. And 2 works almost every time. So. Uh, let's see. So we're going to plug in 2 for x up here and see what it gives us. 4x squared 2x minus 4 plus x squared minus 4x plus 3 negative 2x minus 4x squared plus 3 Alright, and we get 5. Alright, so this expression up here equals 5 when you plug in 2 for x. So, if one of these two is the same thing as the original, that means that when you plug in 2 for x on these, it should equal 5. So I'll do the first option to see what it gives me. 4x to the fourth power minus three x to the third power plus six x squared minus five x plus nine. And we did not get five. Alright, that means that A is the wrong answer, and it means that B is the right answer, but we're going to go ahead and type it in and make sure we get 5. 4x to the 4th plus 8x to the 3rd minus 28x squared minus 10x plus Nine. Five. All right. So because the original and option B both gave us a five when we plugged in two, it's a really good chance that B is the answer. Now, if there was a C and a D, you would probably go ahead and check those to make sure that you didn't also get five. Uh, you know, when you plug in two, if that happens, if you get the same thing uh, for B and C. Then one of them is the right answer, but in order to determine it fully, you should plug in a different number like 3 or 4 to narrow it down all the way.